This is video presentation. Thank you, AOC, for this opportunity. In toric lens implantation, today's potential source of error is due to domino effects caused by a multitude of factors which lead to considerable post-operative refractory surprises. I am here to present an efficient solution to this problem, the toric marking topographer. This system prevents errors during measurement of axis of astigmatism, marking of axis of alignment, and positioning of toric lens. The system is a spot reflection based topographer. The illuminating disc is octagon shaped having 600 color LEDs. Camera is in the center linked to an image processor. Display system including phones, tablet, laptops, etc. can be connected wirelessly using Wi-Fi. A toric marking app is incorporated in this system. Efficiency of this system is better than the existing solution as it saves time and cost. Simultaneously, it provides high quality of result by eliminating errors. Examination of a patient is completed in three easy steps. Capture a topography picture, manual keratometry, immersion A scan. Toric IOL workflow with toric marking topographer. 60 year old female having right eye nuclear cataract grade two. Left eye pseudophakia operated two months before. Monofocal lens was implanted and residual refractive error is two diopter cylinder. Without use of any eye drops, we can capture a topography picture of the eye. By measuring the diagonal distance between these points, the system measures axis of astigmatism, which is 168 degrees in this case. Unlike other solutions, in this system there is no absolute need to keep the head perfectly straight. Manual keratometry to measure K1 and K2. Immersion A scan to measure axial length, anterior chamber depth and length thickness. The above data is used in Barrett's toric calculator to calculate recommended IOL power and axis, which is 174 degrees in this case. So, implantation of 25 diopter lens with 2 diopter cylinder in 174 degrees was planned. Now, in this image guiding app, enter the recommended axis of alignment which is 174 degrees and site of incision which is 150 degrees. On this topography picture, the app will mark axis of alignment as a green line at 174 degrees with red lines on either side 5 degrees apart. Site of incision is shown as a pink square at 150 degrees. There is also an option to place yellow lines along the axis of landmark points. It is 32 degrees in this case. This is the final picture used for reference during the surgery. The picture is rotated such that it coincides with the microscope view of the operating eye. You can save it on your phone, tablet, pen drive, etc. and use it during axis alignment of toric lens. Mark the landmark point which is at 32 degrees. After in the bag implantation of lens and thorough viscoelastic removal, the lens is rotated in axis of alignment by coinciding the limbal structures with lens markings on either side. There is a difference of 38 degrees between landmark point and axis of alignment. So for final confirmation, hold Mendes ring such that its 38 degree marking coincides with the landmark point. In this position, the lens markings must face 0 and 180 degrees. Post-op 3 weeks. Right eye in which toric lens was implanted using toric marking topographer, the residual refractive error is half diopter cylinder. And in the left eye in which monofocal lens was implanted, the residual refractive error is 2 diopter cylinder. Here is another patient as an example. Capture topography picture. The system will measure axis of astigmatism which is 155 degrees in this case. Manual keratometry. Immersion A scan. Barrett toric calculator is used to calculate recommended axis of alignment of toric lens which is 160 degrees. Use the toric marking app to mark axis of alignment and site of incision on the topography picture. After final alignment, P1 and P4 Perkin J images are coincided to eliminate parallax error. Thank you. After doing thousands of foldable lens in the back, I was not having confidence to do the toric lens because what will happen second day, kal kya hoga, that was the main problem. And the fear of the misalignment and rotation of the lens is very much for the surgeon. So this is very uh, small, the principle is very simple that uh, take, only we have to take the one topography picture and mark the axis of alignment on this and use it that on the operation theater. So, uh, listen by yeah. presentation. Excellent presentation. Dr. Nairia, would you like to comment on it? Uh, that's, a, that's a wonderful presentation, a very uh, cool way of doing things. I just want to ask one question. Uh, intraoperatively, how do you map the image while doing surgery exactly on the... Uh, on the eye, that is, uh, the image comes and you don't see the uh, uh, cornea at that point of time. And point number two, how easy would this be for, an, uh, for a for new person 
and uh, what is the learning curve for a new person to suddenly come on and do this yeah so uh, we are having the photograph we can keep the photograph in the tablet rotate it uh, when we are setting that site of uh, incision and you can keep the site of incision the same time in the uh, tablet you are knowing that there we have to put the lens in 174 degrees so you will go up to 170 160 then you will uh, see on the left side which are the uh, limbal structures and the right side are the limbal structure then you will uh, rotate it and you can check it what mendy's ring because in every eye there are some landmark points so you know that how much is the distance of the landmark point with, from the axis of alignment so you uh, you can mark two landmark point use the mendy's uh, ring and then you will put the ring then you can uh, see that uh, do, both marks of the toric lens they should be at 0 and 180 degree so that is the so that is it is very easy and in the app we have to just enter only two things recommended axis of alignment and a site of incision okay, just, just a question. Before, core, before the core registration with all these devices people used to use pictures and hold it in the direction how does this differ from uh, that this is and the main thing is that uh, we are using what happened they are taking the topographic picture during the time of topography head may tilt and then they are marking so then marking then and head may also tilt so this is independent to the head position. How is it independent? Uh, so uh, I am taking the photograph. Look, uh, the, s consider my recommended axis of uh, astigmatism is 90 degree. If at the time of uh, examination, if I will move like this, it will go to 85 degree. The photograph, in the photograph, I, I, I will move in any side, but uh, we are measuring on the photograph, axis of alignment. And axis of uh, astigmatism, we are me measuring on the photograph. And that's why I, if the photo will move, axis of uh, astigmatism will move. So uh, in any position you can, uh, so uh, that was also a big problem for me. For examination, I have to see the patient, see the rakhos here, either thoda bhi nit tilt hona hai, I was moving my uh, uh, system from this to this side that they are on the same level. So that was a big problem. So in this, there is no need to, only one photograph which marked the axis of alignment, same photograph marked the uh, recommended axis of alignment. Because it is slightly five to ten uh, degree away from that uh, steep axis of astigmatism. So and there are chances of that there, uh, some uh, uh, sub have missed, uh, missed uh, uh, kisi ne galti se kuch agar enter ka kuch axis wagera change karti wo bhi nahi hoga. Okay sir, I think uh, we can discuss again in the finals. Thank you so much. Can I please ask?